Pinkalicious and the Snow Globe by Victoria Can. It was the first day of winter vacation, and I couldn't wait to build a snowman. There was only one problem. No snow. Mommy, I said, can we take a trip to the North Pole? I bet there'll be snow there. Not this year. It's too far, Pinkalicious, she said. Can we get a snow machine? Peter asked. Sorry, Mommy said. You'll just have to be patient and wait for it to snow. I didn't want to be patient. Peter, let's make our own snow, I said later that afternoon. We took newspapers and started tearing it into little pieces of snowflakes. I put on my snow queen crown and waved my magic wand. Let it snow, I proclaimed. Peter threw the newspaper bits into the air while I twirled around the living room. And right into Mommy. I have an idea. Let's go get hot chocolate. There's a new store in town, Mommy said. First you'll need to clean this mess up. Okay, right away, we said. When everything was cleaned up, we put on our coats and Mommy walked us to Maggie's gift shop. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was full of shiny ornaments and handmade objects. The whole shop smelled like cookies and hot chocolate. We each got a cup of hot chocolate with whipped cream. Then I saw a shelf that was completely empty except for one sparkly snow globe. I carefully picked it up and gently shook it. Glittery snow spiraled around a reindeer. Did you like it? I turned and saw the shopkeeper smiling at me. I nodded. I love pink, and this snow globe is pinkerific. The shopkeeper's smile grew even bigger. I'm glad you think so, she said. I'm Maggie, and I made the snow globe. If you're careful, you can come see where I work. Maggie's workbench was at the very back of the store. It was covered with tiny trees, bright paints, and glue. It was an artist's dream come true. There were enough parts to make hundreds of snow globes, but I didn't see a single one. Where are the snow globes, I asked. Maggie sighed. There aren't any yet, she said. Usually I let the snow inspire me, but since it hasn't snowed, I'm having a hard time deciding what to make next. I miss the snow too, I said. I miss making snow angels at the playground and ice skating around the rink. I miss sledding down the big hill next to town hall, said Peter. I really, really miss building snowmen with Mommy, Daddy, and Peter, I said. Hmm, that gives me an idea, said Maggie. You should stop by next week. Who knows, maybe it will snow. We thanked Maggie for showing us her shop, and then we went home. Every morning I peeked outside my window, hoping for snow, but there wasn't a snowflake anywhere. I baked snowflake cookies with Mommy. Daddy helped me and Peter cut out snowflakes from coffee filters. We put them on the window, but it wasn't the same. It was time to return to Maggie's gift shop. I went through the door and gasped. The empty shelves were no longer empty. It was full of sparkly snow globes. I hurried over to them. All the scenes looked very familiar. It's our playground, Peter said, and here's Mr. Swizzle's ice cream shop. I picked up another one. It's the sledding hill next to the town hall. All the snow globes showed a tiny snow landmark from around town. Finally, there was snow in Pinkville. Welcome back, Maggie said. I see you found the new snow globes. They're snowtastic, I exclaimed. Maggie smiled and held out a little pink gift bag. I wanted to thank you for your help, Pinkertons. Since I'm new in town, your stories of snow time fun helped me imagine winter in Pinkville. I opened the bag. Nestled in pink tissue paper was a snow globe. I gently took it out. Inside the globe was a tiny house. By the house was a mom and a dad building a snowman with a boy dressed in purple and a girl wearing pink. It was us. I gave the snow globe a little shake and pink snow swirled all around. Thank you, I squealed as I gave Maggie a hug. Pinkalicious, come quick, Daddy said. Look out the window. I hurried over. Snow! The end.